The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Freeze gift update for you guys. Sorry that we missed yesterday. I really do apologize. I had a pretty busy day. It was my birthday. I was turning 31 years old. I know I'm an old bastard. You guys, Some of you guys probably don't even realize that, but uh, I am going to leave a link in the description below to a video from that dude, Sly, who did create a video yesterday on the gifts. But let's hop into today's gifts, and you guys can take a look there on your screen. We did have three gifts today. We had a common one there on the far left, and then we had two rare ones on the right and in the middle. So these ones we'd hope for, we'd get maybe something pretty good out of them. So we're going to see here exactly what ended up being in each of them. The first one was actually an 86 overall out of position Tyreek Hill card. Now, this is a halfback version of Tyreek Hill. Um, now, this is something that people have been asking for because Tyreek Hill's been tearing it up. So it's good to see them actually deliver on a card that people are looking for. This card is a little bit disappointing as far as attributes go, and we'll take a look at those here. But this thing is already going for about 5,000 coins right now in the auction house because it's really not anything spectacular. So there you have it. Those are the attributes on the back of the card. Again, not terrible, but not anything amazing. It is one of the fastest running backs in the game right now with 93 speed. The 92 acceleration is a little bit lower, I think, than the LaShawn McCoy that recently came out. But other than that, it's as fast or faster than any other running back in the game. But of course, it does lack in some other areas. This card's basically kind of a mirror image almost of Tavon Austin out of position halfback. It is a little bit taller, doesn't have quite as good of elusiveness, and it's lower in a couple different areas. But overall, they're pretty damn similar. Now, the other one that came out today was uh, the one in the middle there that was actually a Carl Joseph Ghost of Madden's Future card. Now, this one was actually pretty cool. I think a lot of people were excited about this one when it came out. And uh, this is definitely a nice, strong safety card. It's nice to see that EA is actually putting some strong safeties and giving them some love in this year's game because this is kind of a position that's been forgotten about in the past to be completely honest with you we've had a lot of you know years where the free safeties get a lot of love and the strong safeties don't get much so it's cool to get this one now this card is actually going for about 90,000 coins right now on the auction house at least on the PlayStation 4 so not bad at all pretty good attributes on this thing um, overall solid solid safety card not the best card that we're gonna have this year or anything like that but definitely usable and it's good value as well we definitely like to see that now, the last gift was the rarest of the bunch today, and yes, it did have the potential to give you something pretty good, but what I will say is that it's a little bit disappointing, to be honest with you. What you ended up actually getting was a signature pack. Now, the signature packs can contain cards that are anywhere from about uh, 15,000 to probably about 80,000 coins. Now, there is a Doug Free that's very, very rare. And uh, because it's a right tackle, it's also really expensive. But if you didn't pull that, you probably pulled something somewhere between, like I said, about 15 to 50,000 coins or so. So not terrible, but eh, a little bit disappointing considering it was only a 2.11% of all gifts. So overall today, not bad on the gifts. I mean, everything's usable, which is cool. I definitely like that. But, uh, you know, like I said, not the most exciting day of gifts either. The Carl Joseph was good, though. We're definitely happy about that. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at tomorrow's gifts. And tomorrow's gifts are both pretty common. These are the final gifts of the entire promo. Now, again, I've said this before. Just because these two are both common at 7.31% and 7.03% of all gifts, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be bad gifts. Because it is the final day of the promo, EA has been known to drop the best stuff on the final day, even when it's kind of common. So I wouldn't be overly surprised if at least one of these was something decent, but don't get your hopes up. I mean, overall, this promo has been fairly disappointing, to be honest. I think most of us would agree with that, but I definitely do think that we can get something good out of one of these. So... With that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Again, sorry that we missed yesterday. Be sure to check out that dude Sly's video, and you guys will see what was in the gifts yesterday. I will be back tomorrow with another gift update video, and uh, we'll go over what these two gifts end up being. But with that said, please be safe tonight, guys. Have fun, and I will talk to you guys again soon.